Hello dears, welcome to my channel, Maths for You by Atau Raymond. In today's lecture, we are taking up Unit 10 of Grade 9 Mathematics, Congruent Triangles. As we know that two plane figures are congruent if they have the same size and shape. That is, when they are put on one another, they will be coincides. That is, congruent figures are exactly the duplicate of each other. The process of matching two figures is called superposition. The angles and sides which would match are called corresponding or homologous parts of the figures. If two figures A and B are congruent, it is denoted by A is congruent to B. Here we will talk about the congruence of triangles. As we know that a triangle has six elements, that is three sides and three angles. For example, if we have a triangle ABC, then its six parts are, number first, the sides, AB, BC and CA. Number second, the angles, angle BAC or angle A, angle CBA or angle B, angle ACB or angle C. As a prerequisite, let me define the following definition first. Two triangles a, B, C and B, E, F are said to be congruent if the following six conditions are formed. Number first, angle A is congruent to angle D. Number second, angle B is congruent to angle E. Number third, angle C is congruent to angle F. Number four, AB side is congruent to DE side. Number five, BC side is congruent to EF side. And number six, AC side is congruent to DF side of the second triangle DEF. In this case, we write triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. Properties of congruent triangles. Number first, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle ABC. This is what we call the identity congruence. That is, every triangle is congruent to itself. Number second, if triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. Then triangle DEF is congruent to triangle ABC. This property is known as symmetric property of congruence. Number third, if triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF and triangle DEF is congruent to triangle XYZ, then triangle ABC will be congruent to triangle XYZ. This property is called 
the transitive property of congruence. Next definition, postulate. A postulate is a fundamental agreement. Used in a particular branch of mathematics and is regarded to be true without any proof. For example, one and only one line can pass two different points. Postulate SAS, that is side angle side. If two sides and their included angle in one triangle are congruent to two sides and their included angle in another triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. Theorem 10.1 Statement of the theorem If two angles and included side of one triangle are congruent to the corresponding angles and included side of another triangle then the triangles are congruent. This theorem can also be remembered as angle side angle congruence theorem as it uses two angles and their included side of the triangle given of the theorem. In this theorem we are given two triangles for comparison. So we let, we have two triangles, triangle ABC and triangle DEF, in which we are given that angle B is congruent to angle E, side BC is congruent to side EF, while angle C is congruent to angle F. To prove we need to prove that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. Construction Suppose the side AC of the triangle ABC is not congruent to the side BF of the triangle DEF. As AC is not congruent to DF. So, taking any point G on the side DF such that AC is congruent to GF. Also, join G with E and name the angles as shown in the figure. Proof Proof has two portions, statements and reasons. In statements, we provide the assertions, while in reasons, we provide the solid grounds for those assertions. So in the correspondence of triangle ABC with triangle GEF, BC is congruent to EF. Why? because this is what we have given. Angle C is congruent to angle F. This is also given to us. Also, AC side is congruent to GF side. As we have supposed that in the construction. So, by SAS postulate, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle GEF. Hence, angle B is congruent to angle 1. Why? Because they are the corresponding angles of two congruent triangles. But it is given that angle B is congruent to angle E. Thus, by transitive property, we conclude that angle 1 is congruent to 
एंगल ई दिस शोज दैट जी एंड डी रिप्रेजेंट द सेम पॉइंट विच इंप्लाइज ई डी साइड इज कांगुरन टू ई जी साइड फर्दर इट इंप्लाइज ए सी साइड इज कांगुरन टू डी एफ साइड Now we compare triangle ABC with triangle DEF. So in the correspondence of triangle ABC with triangle DEF, BC side is congruent to EF side. Is it is given? Also AC side is congruent to DF side. This is what we have proved. above and given that angle c is congruent to angle f therefore we conclude that triangle abc is congruent to triangle def this is because of side angle side postulate and this is what we want to prove 